What up, people? It's a diddly diddly dat or all the dat in the house. Start recording that video. Uh, I've already got one playing in the uh, chill out room uh, with KRS and DVD. The uh, DVD again. Yeah. <laughs> the DVD is hardcore, man. I'm telling you, man. He's not letting KRS get away with nothing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. But anyway, uh, you know, this is not just going to be about KRS. This is, this is a new format. And it's a shorter format. Uh, the industry fables, beats and rhymes, uh, podcast snippets. But anyway, you know what I'm saying? Buzzing around the internet as you're doing, looking for more stuff. <laughs> right? <coughs> and it's, you know, it's quite interesting to see what else is going on online. You know what I'm saying? In regards to not only online, and in terms of what's going on in the celebrity world. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, really and truly, fuck the celebrity world. But they're, they're the motherfuckers that push a new agenda. Agenda 21, the lot, they're pushing it. You know what I'm saying? KRS included. Uh, but yeah, stumbling across stuff as usual. You know what I'm saying? I come across a site, you know what I'm saying? Celebrating uh, the, the 808 drum machine and how that actually uh, it, 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 it took off when it took off. I don't know if that was the 80s. And then uh, flopped. Completely flopped. I mean, you know what I'm saying? I was using the whole, uh, well, I say the whole Roland series, the 626, the 606, the, uh, the 727, uh, which I didn't really like. You know what I'm saying? As a producer, I'm talking now, I'm talking about Roland drum machines. You know what I'm saying? And it's interesting that as as, as, as flopped out as that machine was, that it became, uh, now, <laughs> now, you know what I'm saying? Everybody just loves the 808. You know what I'm saying? Nobody, you know what I'm saying? It's just 808. Beats hitting the mainstream of hip hop, you know what I'm saying? Whether that's the underground mainstream of hip hop or not, today's hip hop is, you know what I'm saying, is, is totally a different story, you know what I mean? You know, you can have it, you can keep that shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm not interested in it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, yeah, so, you know what I'm saying? Only year, three, three years uh, in production and it flopped, you know what I'm saying? But Look at it now, it governs everything, you know what I'm saying? You put your fucking radio on now, you see hear some fucking jacked up nigga talking about some shit over an 808 beat. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's how that's going on now. Uh I was really curious because all this research research on Bam Barter and KRS, you know what I'm saying, has its uh it has its roots. You know what I'm saying? And those roots are to, you know what I mean, in my roots of hip hop, which is Parliament and Funkadelic, you know what I'm saying? And George Clinton, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, it's one thing putting up K, uh, on, on, on on my last video, KRS is only worth six million. I mean, six million is a lot of money, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You're not going to cough at that. But, you know, I was just comparing him to the rest of them, like people like 50 Cent and all those other motherfuckers. Uh, differences with all those motherfuckers, they don't actually own and control anything, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Ramp Agency owns and controls or runs and controls everything KRS does, you know what I'm saying? And it's interesting, the wordplay blog has a lot more stuff, you know? <laughs> you, know uh, you know, I might want to throw in, you know what I'm saying, as we're going along here, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, stuff out of that wordplay blog from KRS1, where he's just blowing his own horn hardcore to the point of exposure. He's, he's more or less exposed himself uh, on his wordplay blog, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And all the shenanigans with Scott, Scott the Rock and everything else. And I concluded in the last video, nobody nobody died or they all died. Or it was all replaced, you know what I'm saying? So that's what I did. Uh, yeah, uh, moving on. Uh, I've listened to, uh, you, know, you know, Mystic. Uh, and, uh, you know, she's talking all that stuff and everything else and going on about KRS and uh, Bam Bart, or Bam Bart mainly, you know what I'm saying, him being a pedophile and whether his victims are compliant or not, uh, whether it was old enough to be compliant or not, and or whether they had the choice to continue doing what they was doing and keep going back and getting more or not, you know what I'm saying? Well, she got to about 23 minutes of this video, and then she said, well, I don't know if they, these two victims of his, the two main victims, like, 
I publicised their, 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 their assault by a man Barter on them. Um, uh, she doesn't know whether they're married or they have, they have any children or anything like that. So, you know, I cut that off at 23 minutes and I thought, well, for fuck's sake. Before you come out here long ass in it and fucking talking your shit, you know what I'm saying? I'm talking about how you know, how, how, how motherfuckers are supposed to know how you get down and how you do. You're supposed to fucking do your research. You know what I'm saying? I spent 23 minutes listening to that motherfucker and, uh, you know, realizing you haven't done your research. So, you know, squash that. You know what I'm saying? The name for the person will be up here. I've got it written down here, but it's, it's not clear. Aphrodite Stone the Star Seed Healer. <laughs> Aphrodite stone the star here, you know what I'm saying? Get your shit right, girl, you know what I'm saying? Before you go up there a long tongue on it, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, and then Griff, Professor Griff, I mean, you know, you know, I've got to give the nigga a chance, you know what I'm saying? Rock and roll Hall of Fame, I'm not touching him. But on the Van Barter thing, he really, you know what I'm saying, sets it out clear, you know what I'm saying? That, you know, you know, you know, Obviously, someone, you know, I'm switched to, from uh, Aphrodite here to, to Griff, because the next video on the fucking side. You know, and I've seen that, you know what I'm saying, he's clearly uh, up to scratch with his information. He knows uh, Ronald Savage and uh, Puppy have got children, and they're not gay, they're, they're heterosexuals. So he asks the question, well, why would the heterosexuals come out with stuff like that after 30 years? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And we're forgetting date rape and hypnotism and all that shit that takes place. You know, I wait for motherfuckers to fucking fall asleep. You know what I'm saying? Before you decide to fucking maybe drug them again while we're sleeping and get them to get an erection. That's probably the best time. I mean, things are sensitive. You could be in a dream state thinking about thinking you're getting fucking jerked off by a fucking, uh, I don't know, boxing queen. I don't know. Do, do, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, and that motherfucker's, with his big ass beard, his gut is hanging over you with your fucking uh, schlong in his mouth. So, you know what I'm saying? That's just the way that's going down. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, I thought, well, you know, let's look deeper. You know what I'm saying? Let's look into deeper. And uh, KRS One's relationship with Simone uh, G. Parker. Uh, well, he's he's done a few. He's done the Lewis Jones show interview, which I wasn't impressed with. And he's done, uh, uh, which was more about acronyms than anything else. And uh, Brother Enoch, which was the best one, you know what I'm saying? You've got to watch that, you know what I'm saying? Kent and Karis and Simone G. Parker. Simone blows him up, you know what I'm saying? Because she says, well, look, yeah, you know what I'm saying? We were just buddies, man. You motherfucking get that shit straight, you know what I'm saying? You know, just let them know we're just buddies, you know what I'm saying? Because like I said, you know, it's not confirmed to my knowledge that KRS uh, hasn't fathered any of his children, own children. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Lawrence Krishna Parker or Larry G has not, uh, to my knowledge, uh, fathered any of his own children. You know what I'm saying? Or donated any sperm <laughs> for that cause. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? All I'm hearing or seeing is that all the children that care us. You know, uh, there's one guy that uh, <clears throat> Donnie Diamonds interviewed. I'll, I'll get his name. Yeah, his name should be up on the fucking screen right now. Um, uh, you know, he, he dropped more beans on KRS because he confirms that KRS does not, uh, for eight for eight years now, has not got on a plane or taken any form of other forms of transport other than a boat to go overseas with. You know what I'm saying? So, and what I'm saying about these these crew liners, cruise liners, also, you know, what I'm saying it was also frequently acquainted by Jimmy Savile and all the rest of them. And you, you look up. Uh, what sorts of activities Jim, Jimmy Savile would have got up to on his cruise liners. Now, when he left San Francisco uh, for Australia in uh, 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 2012 on the uh, Queen Elizabeth, uh, I think that was before the death of Jimmy Savile. You know what I'm saying? So he could have been well on that boat. You're going to get celebrities and, and uh, other members of the elite family elite on there. You know what I'm saying? That's their playground. This is where they play. You know what I'm saying? And when your ship, uh, cruise ship, is uh, 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 out on the seas, the only law is the seas. This is why KRS loves maritime law and the law of the seas. What the teacher does is put the truth in the crap that the teacher is practicing. So you 
you have sheep building, and you get this whole philosophy, which is really all of Egyptian mythology based on ships, water. And when he was asked in the front about the Illuminati, uh, this is the example he gave. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he mentioned the seas and the wars. You know what I'm saying? He was talking about admiralty law. Uh, this is the best way he could uh, really explain his knowledge of the Illuminati. He says they trust him with their secrets. Well, I mean, you know what I'm saying? The truth is, uh, you have to trust them with your secrets. KRS. That's what it is. You just switch that. You have to trust them with your secrets. That's why you never fuck up. You know what I'm saying? Well, you do fuck up. But you end up fucking yourself up more than anybody else. Like we get snitched on, or we get ratted on. You know what I'm saying? The the, 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 the the elite powers that be, I'm sure, are quite happy if you fucking your own self in your ass. You know what I'm saying? You know, but you know what I'm saying? You have put UNESCO in very bad light. You know what I'm saying? So, uh... <clears throat> So, uh, moving on. So, yeah, like I said, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, still looking around for anything that might. But I was looking. Actually, I was looking for the date KRS One got married to Simone G. Parker because he does call her his wife. Well, I come on YouTube and I've got a, a track. You know, just a boring ass looping motherfucking beat. Uh, and it's. Just playing away now, and I'm waiting for the lyrics to come in. There's no, nothing coming in. I think, well, what the fuck is that? <laughs> you know, I thought I was going to hear about a song, a love song, or a rap song, at least, about his wife. Nothing, just a motherfucking beat. Boring ass, loopy ass, motherfucking dreamy ass, fucked up beat, which he's put up there. I said, well, it's for MC or, or, or break dancers to break to. You know, niggas will drop dead fucking listen to that motherfucker. So, <laughs> let's move the fuck on. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like Gospel Talk TV, you know, and you gotta go on him, man. You know what I'm saying? Host Mr. Michael I. Glamy, this is season two. And if you're new to his channel, please tap that subscribe button to show your support. Now, this time we're switching from KRS to Suge Knight. And Suge Knight's doing everything he can, according to Gospel TV, to get his ass in the media. You know what I'm saying? Now, Suge Knight, everyone knows Suge Knight is two, two pack manager. Two pack got, uh, Suge Knight got him out of jail, you know what I'm saying? On, on the track, on the, uh, promise that you'll sign for death row. So, you know what I'm saying? There's no more death row. Uh, and, uh, the guy named Michael, I can't remember his second name, you know what I'm saying? He's usually wearing glasses. Motherfucker's, motherfucker's got some big eyeballs, he's looking the wrong way. Not looking at the camera, he's looking at the screen. He's looking at his own self at the screen. You know, a lot of people, can make that fade, you know, I've often done it myself. I can't see my screen, so I must look at the camera. Uh, yeah, and he really goes on on, uh, in on Suge Knight, calls him Huggy Bear. <laughs> well, you know, my interpretation of that fucking whole story is now, you know what I'm saying, it's come out now since uh, Gospel TV put this video up on the 23rd of August, that Suge Knight is now doing jail time. You know, I've already seen him collapse in jail, or in a court case when he got his bid, like he's got his uh, uh, punishment, you know what I'm saying? When the result of the trial came out, you know what I'm saying? Motherfucker collapsed in jail, uh, in, in the court. Uh, now, you know what I'm saying? It's coming out, motherfucker got fucking gang banged in the motherfucking jail. You know what I'm saying? Now, who's gonna fucking run up on fucking shoot night? I'm asking, you know what I'm saying? Nigga got done a new whole boy in his ass in the fucking jail. Nigga, who's gonna step up and do that job? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Dude, 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 dude. You know what I'm saying in uh, Deutsch, uh, uh, German. Unvorstellbar. Unvorstellbar. Unimaginable. Uh, unimaginable. Now, someone's gonna run up with a big, thick ass, fucking big, nigga, nigga, up like that. You know what I'm saying? And do it from behind. Uh, dude, you know what I'm saying? All fucking down. Uh, yeah, and, uh, you know. But uh, KRS on my back, 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 back to back, Gita. You know what I'm saying? Niggas sucking that book like some shit, you know what I'm saying? At uh, a temple being on a video, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, oh, dude, you know what I'm saying? How many things you do? Rastafarian, Buddhism, la la la. Well, you know what I'm saying? It all comes down to one thing. 
you know, he throws many of these different components into one Masonic religion. You know what I'm saying? That's all. You know what I'm saying? You can't really fly too far away from this whole reptilian uh, idea either. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah, we can. You know what I'm saying? But then on the other side, you know what I'm saying? We, we might want to look at that as well. You know what I'm saying? You know, David Icke's been pushing that idea for a long time. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, you know, you know, like I said, I, you know, I'm not in a belief system mode, you know what I'm saying? I'm either aware of something or I'm not, you know? Um, uh, and, uh, you know, just going back to David D, David D, you know what I'm saying? I mean, he just, I mean, I mean he can't mess around with KRS. I mean, KRS can't mess around with David D. David D is a lot more intelligent, a lot more eloquent, uh, a lot more informed. You know what I'm saying? When you hear him going at it, Davey D on, uh, where is it? Uh, uh, Davey D Hip Hop Corner, slash Davey. Uh, you, uh, you know, KRS is, you know, he pings KRS down several times. KRS says, well, you know what I'm saying? Everything that's materially relevant uh, in America is what you can see. You know what I'm saying? Well, you know what I'm saying? Uh, David, uh, David D replied, well, I ain't talking about what you can see. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We're talking about, uh, uh, what's considered a, 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 a something that, you know what I'm saying, uh, or, or life in the States as a black person, you know what I'm saying, uh, what can be achieved for a black person away from hip-hop and entertainment. ...are having to shed the type of, um, the type of orientation that we're subjected to through media, through just the way society wants us. So if, you know, if greed and sex and violence are, you know, things that are being sold to us every day, then we become that and all of a sudden it becomes a part of the culture. You know, this is just American. And Kara said, well, yeah, that's, that's the trouble. You know what I'm saying? Two of us, too many of us are into the entertainment side and not building a, a community for ourselves outside the entertainment field. And that's the trouble with black people. But when someone from, from UNESCO says that, you know what I'm saying? And you see how the UN are running their uh, alphabet soup programs, then, it, you know, it's just a fucking circus the niggas running, you know what I'm saying? You might sort of agree with David D and fucking, you got no argument, you know what I'm saying? You got an argument. And your only argument is, your, is UNESCO uh, uh, helping you to push your Huxley uh, driven fucking ideologies, you know what I'm saying? And your new age ideologies. Uh, <clears throat> yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? David E also says, well, you know what I'm saying? You know, people that are put into teachers are not, you know what I'm saying? Often uh, turn out not to be our teachers. You know what I'm saying? And I think, you know what I'm saying? Even though he put this, this video was up on, in January, I think, you know what I'm saying? Now you can see it's quite relevant. You know what I'm saying? That David E should say that. You know what I'm saying? And one of himself, he looks at the video and thinks, okay, you know what I'm saying? I, I stepped on that. I might have stepped on a nerve there that maybe later turned into a bruise later, you know? Uh, and, uh, you know, I, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? I don't know why George Clinton is broke. Don't understand that. 1.8 million, dude. What the fuck? Everybody sampled you like a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? How the fuck? Dude, 1.8 million. How old are you now, dude? You know what I'm saying? How much do you owe the yeah, IRS? 115,000? Or 100, 100, uh, yeah, 115,000? It's certainly like a million. Uh, dude, I can't work that out. You know what I'm saying? It's also hard to work out how uh, uh, Janet Jack Jackson, age 50 years old, is pregnant. You know what I'm saying? So now, you know, it's going to be the same Beyonce thing, fucking stuff, fucking pillow under the fucking stomach, you know what I'm saying? And doing interviews. It's going to be the same shit, you know what I'm saying? Kardashian pretending she's pregnant, you know, all that motherfucking shit. Listen, they've all gone nuts. They've all gone nuts and they're pushing this fucking agenda, you know what I'm saying? And it, it, it's just bananas, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, hold on your hats, dude. Fucking get windy and breezy out there in terms of, you know, Motherfuckers with their feet on the ground and their heads in the fucking right position in the air, you know? Because motherfucking heads are heading up ass bones and everything. You know what I'm saying? Things are twisting up badly on us, man. You know what I'm saying? Really into it. You know? And it is a lot of it. Most of it pushed through media. So without media, none of this would be so fucking crazy. You know what I'm saying? 
because we've got we've got to be careful not to bring it uh, into our lives and, and, and not carry the demons it fucking transmits around us. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, that's uh, that's uh, probably longer than I actually want it to go. But actually, you know what I'm saying. So, it's a Deutsch state, Schluss damit. So with that, Beats and Rhymes uh, podcast YouTube Fable snippets. To get in the right order. With a uh, hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. We're gonna keep these snippets going. You know what I'm saying? On August 31st, as you probably Hey you guys. On August 31st, as you probably know, I launched the Unbreakable World Tour. Uh, first I just want to thank all the fans coming out and seeing the show. Thank you so much. You guys made it so enjoyable for me each and every day. Um, my husband and I are planning our family. Then that it's important that I do this now. At the delay of the tour, please, if you can try and understand that it's important that I